Hi, I'm James Caravan. I'm a fully qualified massage therapist and acupuncturist. Now with Valentine's Day just around the corner, why not treat that special someone in your life with a romantic foot soak followed by a relaxing foot massage. Here's what you'll need. One large basin filled with rocks. A jar of uh, coconut oil, virgin organic coconut oil, available at all good health food stores. Some magnesium flakes, again available at all good health food stores. Although you won't necessarily always need to use magnesium flakes, if you can't find them, then some Epsom salts will do. Some of your favourite essential oils. Uh, for me, my favourite is uh, eucalyptus and peppermint. Some massage oil. A pillow. Fan from my own bed. And uh, two towels. One, two. And for that extra, and for that, um, to add a bit of uh, ambience as well to the treatment. Um, why not include some music, a few candles, one, two, and an oil burner, which you can put your essential oils in. Now let's have a look at how to prepare the foot soak. Have your basin ready and fill that up with hot water. Put in half a cup of magnesium flakes. Put in one very large uh, spoonful of coconut oil. and add in a few drops of your favourite essential oils. So between five to ten drops. At this point you can either wait for the water to, to cool before applying your feet in it or you can add in some more, uh, some more cold water and that's how you prepare your foot soak. So now that your partner is sitting down and enjoying her foot soak, now's a good time to offer some refreshments and also to start uh, preparing the room for the following foot soak. On this occasion, I've decided to make a raw food, a raw food chocolate pie. Uh, this contains uh, walnuts, cashews, uh, dates, and uh, cac uh, cacao powder with a bit of sprinkling of cacao nibs on top. And, I've, and also for decoration, I've decided to put a, a strawberry. So I'm going to pass this over for her to enjoy. Thank you. Okay, not at all. And now's the time to um, to quickly set everything up for the um, for the massage. While, uh, while my partner here is enjoying her pie. So this is all I have to do. Is I just have to light a few candles. Very quick and easy. Like so. And not to, not to forget the oil burner as well.
Let's not forget the music. And now we're ready to start the, uh, the foot massage. So taking your pillow and putting a, the towel over it, I'm just going to adjust the, adjust, the, adjust the camera so you can see. So I've placed a, um, so I've placed a pillow over, over my lap. Now if I can have your, your feet please. And getting the, uh, the other towel, you start to dry the feet off. How are you enjoying that cake? All right, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the pie. Cool. Right. So now you're using your uh, the massage oil. Apply a little bit into your hands, and warm, warm the oil up a little bit in your hands like this. Now the first the first stroke that you'll use, well you'll see in this routine, that you'll start off with very gentle pressure and gradually build up. So what I'm going to do now, the very first move I'm going to do is stroking, which goes a little, little, little something like this. So stroke down and up, stroke down and up, like so. You don't really have to concentrate too much on how many times you do this. Okay, now the move that's about to follow from here is a, it's a move that I like to call breaststroke. Well, it's like a little mini breaststroke and it goes, it goes like this. So you go along the back of the foot, like that, come around the ankle, up, and back around to the sole of the foot. And again, back of the foot, around the ankle, and then back up again. Okay, one more time. Back of the foot, around the ankle, and back up to the sole of the foot. Okay, now here's another stroking technique that you can use. Use a, use a fist and use your palm and you put the foot in between in between the two like this like so and then go down then up yeah. so far how's the pressure there you okay now okay excellent she just gave me a big thumbs up there so i think i'm doing okay <laughs> And then from this point, we can move on to a uh, kneading mo motion, which goes like this. So you're using. So what you're doing with this is that you're using the this part of the hand, the heel of the hand. You use it both, and then you're you're spreading that apart. If I if I can if I can demo it this way. So you're starting here and then going apart like that, like so. Okay, and then you can do the same movement on the, on the sole of the foot.
Now at this point, you can start to use your thumbs to apply stronger pressure. So what I like to do at this point is I like to then start to use my, my thumbs and go in between uh, the bones here, like this. Just moving slowly. So I'm starting in between the, uh, the big toe and the second toe. And then you move on to the next, next gap. And the next one along. And then on the back of, back of the foot, you can again using your thumbs, you can start doing like a circular compression movement, like this. There's no real set rule about this. I mean, you can either use just one thumb or use use the other one or both together. Now working on the sole of the foot, again using that, um, using the thumb stroking on the sole of the foot as well, using a little bit more pressure, like so. If you can, if you can see that. So you're covering every part of the sole of the foot here, starting, and also you can work on the heel as well. So it's not just on the arch. The next movement is the circular, circular thumb compression, like so. So applying pressure with the thumb and doing small circular movements. So after a while, I mean, if you're feeling that um, that doing this movement starts to starts to ache a little bit on your on your thumbs, uh, what you can do as an as an alternative movement, you can use this this part. Normally, when you do this movement, you use this part this part of the thumb here. But what you can do is bend the thumb like this, and then use this this part here as your point of pressure. You can also apply a lot more, um, there's a lot more force generated by doing it this way. So just be careful and also get feedback from, uh, from the person you're doing this on. So this is how you do the movement. So just like the way you've done the previous um, thumb movement, but it's just, the, it's just using a different part of the thumb.
Okay, now we finish off with just a, with a few like stroking movements. And now we can focus in on the toes. So what you're going to do now with the toes is that you're going to start off with the squeezing and uh, twisting motion. So, so you hold each toe in, in between your first and second finger and you do this movement like so. So I'll demonstrate it on the, on the foot here. Okay, so I just started off. It doesn't really matter whether you start off on, this, on the little toe or the big toe. Okay, now I'm just going to move on to the next one. I mean, in general, it's, it's, very, it's, quite, it's quite a nice movement to do, especially on women's feet, you know, who've, uh, well, probably men as well. That's, uh, there's some, um, there's, when you're, when you're, when you're uh, you know, wearing high, when you're wearing high heels, you know, you find that your, you know, your toes are being squashed quite a lot. So this is quite nice to help to relax the, the area. So the next movement we're going to do as well is, um, is a rotation movement. So you're going to take each, each toe. So if my fingers were, were toes, for example, You'll take, you'll take each one and you'll do like a gentle circular motion, like this. Now I'll demonstrate that on the toes here. And now that these toes are nicely stretched out, more well, not stretched out, nicely warmed up, you can now start to uh, stretch them this way. Just working out all the stiffness out of the toes. For the next step, it would be a good idea also to dry your hands as well. We'll just do a little bit of work on the, on the calf muscle here. So you're just slowly squeezing and kneading. So what you do now is you grab the calf from underneath and twist. So you do it with one hand and the other. Sorry. Yeah, you like that? Okay, excellent, thanks.
and this warms up the area quite nicely for the next step which is a little bit of um, an ankle rotation followed by a stretch and it goes like this so you grab the um, grab the ankle like so then grab with the other hand you grab grab the toes like this and you just do some ge gentle and slow movements and it's just nice circles then go the other way And now you can do do a calf stretch. Now it's very important that you get feedback from uh, from the person you're doing this on, just so you don't uh, you don't overstretch them. So if it gets a bit too much, just let me know. Can you can you feel that stretch on the calf? Is that okay? And just hold it there for about a minimum of 20 seconds. And then, grab, and then grab the foot on either side like this, and then twist. And then twist the other way. And then to slowly wake up your partner, you start doing more vigorous movements like this. So you're grabbing on each side. Like so. Then pummel the sole of the foot. And that ends your routine. Of course, you do the, um, you, f you follow on, repeat the steps on the on the other foot. So I'm just going to uh, just going to drop the, her feet here. So here's here's your foot soak and foot massage routine. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching the clip, and I hope you get a chance to to use this on your partner on Valentine's Day. If there is anything else that you'd like me to to upload on on YouTube, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to see what I can do. So until then, enjoy yourself and have a great Valentine's.